self-giving, kind, that it bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. And the power of love in this room today is comparable. God has given us love as a gift more precious than any jewel. To win some or learn some, but I won't. Well, I'm gonna eventually, once you get me to a place, give me one, two, three, you'll open your eyes. Yep. One, two, three. <laughs> Hi, babe. You look handsome. You can connect with Facebook and email and texting, and we could have Skyped this marriage for those long distance friends. But all this cyber connectedness, as you know, never replaces the presence here of these people who love you. And you find love. In the name of God, I, Charlie, take you easy to be my wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. In the name of God, I, Nisi, take you, Charlie, to be my husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or worse, for rich or for poor, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish until you're parted by death. This is my solemn vow. Our fate, I'm yours. I've known my sister my entire life. <laughs> Her entire life. And she is my best friend. And I have stood beside her for 29 years, and now somebody new will be standing next to her for the rest of her life. And I couldn't have picked a better, a better person to do that. Her. I love you. I'm so happy for you. One thing that comes to mind is Charlie's ability to make a witty, off-center joke about anything. <laughs> Growing up, you, uh, everyone would ask you, so do you want to be a doctor like your dad? And Charlie would just be like, I'm going to be the love doctor. <laughs> Thank you.